up for sale from Redvale RV is this 1996 Compass Lynx 340 bar 2. Now this caravan here is pretty much the lightest weight caravan available on the market, weighing just over 700 kilos empty. It's also one of the shortest caravans just less than five meters long. The benefit of that being you can basically tow it with anything and it's extremely easy to park. It has handles on the front and rear. You can simply manhandle it round on a flat surface. Now the purpose of this video is to give anyone who is going to bid on it a great idea of what they're actually bidding on. Now this caravan is up for sale through $1 auction. It will sell to the highest bidder. And I've got the auction closing just before Christmas so it can be taken away and used. I've just put a brand new Warren of Fitness and registration on it. It's also had a brand new electric and LPG warrant. I'm gonna go through the caravan, show any marks, dents, and go through anything that doesn't go. So if we start externally, has the Alco anti-sway towing system is absolutely fantastic. The plastic cover down here has been fiberglass back together. It's still sound, that is more cosmetic than anything. At the front, everything's there. Paint's a little flat, but that's not a problem. No leaks, it's as solid as. Round to the side, paint's in very good order. It could use with the buff cut. That'll make it come up even, even shinier. There are minor pin dents here and there. Nothing really of note. Below the entry door there, there is some paint missing where things have scratched it. I'd say a metal step. Tire's good on both sides. As you can see, it does have motor movers fitted. However, the remote, I've put new batteries in the remotes. The remote for the motor movers does not work. So. I am not able to test the motor movers. So just think of it as a freebie. Round to the rear here. Everything is as it should be. There's some small flat spots in the paint. And round to the driver's side, if you will. Once again, it is very tidy. Just a paint could use with a buff. It is also fitted with a satellite dish as well. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it seems to have all the gear in it. It is a manual satellite finder, so the new owner's gonna have to have fun with that. So externally, she's a really sound wee caravan. Also on each corner, it's got these feet. Those feet are designed to stabilise the caravan once you've got to your destination so it's nice and level for you, get, for you to go to sleep. So you're not sleeping with your head downhill. Comes with an LPG bottle and a step. It also comes with the charge lead and a water pump. As we get inside, you can see there's a wee bit of lino here and then it goes into carpet. The kitchen is at the rear. The wood grain laminate is coming off in places hot and cold tap, three burner, above here once again the wood grain, there is parts of the wood grain coming off. Now this fridge here does not run on LPG, it runs on electric and battery. So the LPG has been disconnected from the fridge for its last warrant. 
that through there is the bathroom and shower, which I'll show you shortly. Down here, a lino along the edge here, old lino. So it is peeling up. New Zealand power points fitted, as you can see. Carpet's in pretty good order. There are a couple of marks, as to be expected. And into your front lounge. It's very quaint in here. Pink helmets, pink curtains, pink squabs, all in good order. A little bit of sun fading. Now those lights up there run on the 230 volts. And there are little lights tucked underneath. They run on 12 volts. And that light up there is also 12 volt. It is very solid in here. It's nice and dry. Plenty of cabinets. And plenty of storage underneath these as well. As you can see, it's, it's rock solid. There are no signs of any leaks anywhere in here. It's been really well cared for. And also all the windows have fly screens and blackout blinds. Turning around to here, we have our caravan control panel. These run all your accessories up here. And there is a wee fold down coffee table there, comes off the wall. And these beds in front, these single beds become a double and you actually sleep that way when they become a double and that hutch in the middle there is removable so you get an even bigger bed very large bed underneath this seat here is our switchboard and you also have electric 230 volt hot water cylinder so that heats your water when you're plugged into the mains next to this we have an LPG room heater above that a substantial storage cupboard also has a fold out trestle table and it has all the controls for this satellite dish on the roof it's even got a satellite finder which i'm not sure how to use let's say that's the fun that the new owner can have I'm trying to get that to work so swinging around better view of the uh, kitchen little freezer box in the top corner tested that that all works really well and this has just all been tested all three burners are working well I said hot and cold tap there and into the bathroom great little layout Got shower head here which comes out on a lead and you plug it up there and then over this side Got a mirror and vanity cabinet, fold away sink. And below that, you have your toilet. So that sink just folds out the way, and you can use your cassette toilet. Alrighty. Now, being a 1996 caravan, do not expect this caravan to be brand new because it is far from it. What it is, is a very dry, great size two berth. It has been pre-loved. It is ready to go here in Auckland in time for Christmas and New Year's for a couple or a very small family to go away and we can arrange finance, but you'd need to arrange that before the end of auction. Payment is to be made in full within 48 hours of auction close. We are open between Christmas and New Year's if you can't make it before Christmas to pick it up. So just to recap, this is a 1996 Compass Lynx 360 bar two. One of the smallest and lightest caravans available on the market. It's a sale for $1 reserve in time for Christmas. Please call me on the number on the trade me listing.